Hi, I'm Casey Davidson, product manager with Shakespeare Fish and Company. Today, we're going to show you how to properly spool a spinning reel. So the first thing you want to remember when spooling a spinning reel is you want to make sure you're putting the appropriate pound test line on the reel for what it's rated for. So what you want to do is look for the line capacity on your spool, which is located right here. This particular reel is the Shakespeare Contender, which is rated between 6 and 10 pound line. So today, we're going to be spooling it with 8 pound test, 200 yards. If we were to try to put 20 pound line on this reel, for instance, it would make the line really unmanageable and would severely limit our casting distance. So the next thing you want to do is you want to lay your rod and reel flat. Open your bale and you want to run your line through the first guide on the rod. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the knot we use to attach the line to the reel. And again, I'm using this yellow line to demonstrate. So the first thing you want to do is tie a regular overhand knot right in the end of your line, like so. So that's knot number one. Next, you want to go ahead and take your line and wrap it around your spool. And what you're going to do from here is tie another overhand knot. So go under, just a nice overhand knot here. And the key is to make sure that that first knot you tied is outside of your next knot. And you're going to go ahead and just tighten that down on the reel. And as you do that, the line is going to slide right through. It's going to tighten up and it's going to pull this slip knot right to there and tighten up. Then you're going to come back and clip your tag in. All right, now that we've got our line tied to our reel, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and set the spool down on a flat surface and make sure that that line is coming off in the direction that we talked about earlier. I want to go ahead and flip your bale over. And what I like to do is hold my hand out right here towards the uh, lead guide and apply a little bit of pressure to the line as we're spooling it on the reel. So I'm going to go ahead and start winding that on there. And you can see that line's just running right through my uh, thumb and my index finger and just keep a nice steady pressure on that reel as you reel it in. And while we're doing that, uh, we really want to make sure that that line goes on there tight. If you put it on there loose, you're going to get tangles all day when you, fir you first start casting. All right, so now we've got our reel filled with line. And just a little rule of thumb, I like to make sure that there's an eighth of an inch to a sixteenth of an inch gap right between the top of the spool and the line. That's going to allow you to make sure it's not underspooled or overspooled. So we're going to go ahead and clip our line. And we're going to th thread it through the guides, tie on our favorite lure, and we're ready to start fishing. Okay, now that you're all spooled up, you've threaded your line through the guides. All you got to do is tie on your favorite lure and you're ready to go fishing. Thank you guys for watching our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can check us out on Facebook or visit us on our website at shakespeare-fishing.com.